If I was to ask you to name a large corporate company, you would probably name something like Google or Amazon. 50 years ago, if I had asked you to name a world company, you would have probably have said something quite different. One company that you might have said, let's say 50 years ago, was Kodak. And Kodak was such an enormous company making mainly film, but a lot of cameras as well. And they basically almost mon mon monopolized the film industry. There were lots of other companies, but Kodak was by far the biggest. And they started in about 1890. And one of the big things about Kodak was that they were producing film on celluloid. And that was a big forward thing to have film as film and not have glass plates and ha having film as film enabled you to make cameras which could be more accessible and it also enabled cheaper cameras and the box brownie became one of the biggest sellers of all time and Kodak made quite a lot of different types of box brownie and the one I'm looking at today is called the number two it's actually the official title is the number two cartridge hawk high model B now people get a bit confused when they hear the name both hawk high and um, a cartridge camera now it's not meaning the film is in a cartridge it's referring to the fact that a film looks a little bit like a cartridge of a gun actually um, and that is Kodak used to refer to the film as cartridge size. 120 was one of the earliest films they made and they later brought in something called 620. It was one of these things that actually sometimes if you change the camera um, you had to have a new film and Maybe it was a way of selling more film, I don't know. Because you will find an awful lot of Kodaks that take 620. And unfortunately, 620 film can't be bought now, although it can be re-round, 120 can be re-round onto 620 spools. But I'm going to talk about this camera, as I said, the number two Hawkeye. If you see a Hawkeye, what the ad name means is that it would have been a coupon camera or a voucher camera. Things like cigarette cards and tea cards and coupons were a big thing in the 20th century. And people used to collect these cards that were free in products like, as I said, chocolate and cigarettes. And if you collected enough of these coupons, you could then get something like a camera or a even a gramophone. So the Hawkeye, if you've seen the name Hawkeye, it means it's a coupon type camera. This is a, in one sense, a very basic camera. We have a shutter, we have a viewfinder, we look down for portrait, we look this way for landscape. They quite crude little catch on the top and if we release the catch, we will see the how the film fits inside. You have to undo that. Well, bring it forward, the Rhino magazines, and there we have the inside of a box camera. And to load a film, we pop the film in here, bring it over the top here, and into this spool here. Then we place it back in the camera and we wind the film until we get number one here. You only get eight images to a film and the images are huge. The images are here, some I prepared earlier, they are six centimetres by nine centimetres, okay? As I said, it's a very easy camera to use. It hasn't got any f-stops, so it's it has got an f-stop, but it's a fixed one of, I think, about f11. And the shutter speed, I guess, is about, could be 1 30th. So you do need to hold the camera extremely still. You normally hold it on your wrist um, or on your stomach, and it has to be very, very still. 
This would have been made between 1926 and 1929. I think this model is about 1928. I've used it yesterday and I was amazed at the images. OK, it was a sunny day. Some of the images are extremely sharp. One or two of the images have obviously got, they've got camera shake. There's no tripod mount on here, so you just have to be careful. I used former um, the Czech film, which I developed in ID11, and I scanned it. And as I said, it's amazing that a camera that is 90 years old can produce such good results. Plus, these can be picked up relatively cheaply. If you have one, or we find one, why not have a go? Bye for now.